What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another game channel. My name is AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back here with uh, Vampire. I had to think about what game we were playing. Um, yeah, I really don't have uh, don't have much else. If I if I seem uh, a little little lack a little uh, unenergetic, unenthusiastic, what uh, what have you, uh, this video. There's a reason for that. I have a re I, I have a pretty bad headache right now. Um, not not like it, I it's it, it's gonna get a lot worse. I'm you know like taking aspirin and or Tylenol, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, it, it's 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 the weather we have right now. We got a storm rolling in. Um, oh Christ. Um, so like I said, if I seem a little little lackluster, this is probably gonna be the last thing I upload today, just because you know, just I don't feel good. But uh, well, Lady Ashbury, interesting. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's my that's my. My terrible disjointed intro. Can we can we chatter up? Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. <laughs> Just absolutely sarcastic she was about this. Um, yeah, like I was saying. Just... Ugh, Jesus. Alright, let's go talk to the dude. Why the... Flip is he? Welcome back to the Ascalon. God, Lance face is disturbing. Tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Doctor Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For Not the war. You. Thank you, my lord. Now, to grow a mustache at least. Ask for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Econ he deserves to be. I'm sorry, but I can't. Are you questioning my orders? No. I'm Mr. refusing your orders. I'm not sure I'm ready to have another progeny after what happened with my sister. The rebirth of Aloysius Dawson? is a necessary step in our campaign to ensure the safety of London. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson Estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Your ah, crap! Command. Sorry. I meant to do the other thing. Wait a minute, though. I, I, I could've... I could've... I... I... I feel like I could have, you know, denied what he wants us to do a lot stronger than that. All right, Jonathan. Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? I won't do it. The very thought of it makes me sick. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? 
Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. Please tell me more about your recent investigation. As long as you lower your voice. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor soul survive at all. Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. You know, for a, like a clandestine kind of conversation like this, we, we could have had this in a very different location. I'm just saying. If I made Dawson an Econ like myself. You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Do not make him your progeny. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. So, so kill him? Goodbye, my dear. Please be careful. What she's telling is, kill him. All right. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. I'm... I'm Okay, I'm trying to think if I have this right. So basically, the dude with the creepy face. What the hell? Apparently there's a... I don't know what... Huh. There's a, there's a side mission there, but eh, whatever. We're doing main stuff. So, so if I'm understanding this correctly, Redgrave, the dude with the creepy face that needs a mustache, just saying... He, he would, it would, his face wouldn't look so creepy if he had a mustache. I mean, he'd still look pale and veiny, but still. It's kind of what makes Jonathan at least look kind of cool is his, is his, uh, is his beard. That's the big thing I really don't, I, I don't understand about, uh, Redgrave. I mean, I think she's the, she's the best looking vampire there is in this game. <laughs> Granted, she's still pale, but she's not all veiny. Elizabeth, or um, what was Mary? That was that was Jonathan's sister. Pop, pop, pop. She was all veiny. I don't know. It just it looked creepy. Yet Elizabeth is the only one who isn't like that. Oh, come on. Do you have to call me a vermin? Okay, a little better than vermin, at least. Um. Sorry, I got off on a tangent there. So, so if I'm so if I'm understanding this correctly, uh, Redgrave wants us to pass on our our power, or you know what I mean, like to uh to what's his face to the to the old to the old um. Uh, 
to the uh, to the old uh, Dawson dude. Because if he if we are the one who who sires him, I'm I'm using vampire the masquerade language, yes, but it's I, I, I know that a little bit better than I uh, than I understand this this game's world because this game's world, if you ask me, is a little uh, little all over the place. Either way, so so he wants us to sire that guy so that he can have similar powers to us. If if I'm understanding this correctly. That should give us full blood and heal us all the way. There we go. So yeah, okay. So I think I think that's the general idea of what's happening. There we go. I cannot enter. Can we go in here? It's locked. That would be a negative. Okay, where is Dawson's mansion then? Okay, so it, uh, that's weird that it doesn't just tell us where to go. It... Ooh. Good evening, Miss Price. There we go. How are you tonight? Dr. Reed, I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Do you need my medical attention, Miss Price? Oh no, I'm fine, Dr. Reed. Perfectly fine. But thank you so much for taking care of me. Alright. Well, might as well just go through the formalities. Tell me about yourself, Miss Price. I'm still managing my shop. The only difference is, since the quarantine, we're open at night. You, on the contrary, seem to have changed a lot. Really? Have I changed that much? It must have been the war. And the night shifts since my return. Don't get me wrong, Dr. Reed, you're still handsome. Oh! <laughs> wiser. More serious. It suits you well. The, the ladies dig the the pale look and if so i got that going for me tell me more about yourself no new fiance i remember you were hoping to get remarried i'm sure you must have a few suitors who would marry an old bat like myself with a grown daughter and a little business as you know i only fancy handsome men like yourself yeah she's into us have you noticed anything in particular in this part of town recently? Other than you coming back to cheer me up? Nothing at all, Dr. Reed. All right, lady, you're you're kind of kind of flirting like I do. Very heavy-handed and um, it scares people. I just made myself sad. Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? I remember you were often concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now, but she'll always remain my sweet little baby. So you're less afraid? Some things never change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. Why would her innocence put her in danger? She does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. You have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price, especially in these difficult times. Maybe you could talk with her, Dr. Reed. 
It would be nice to have a man here more often. We would both feel safer. Uh, yep. Do you know Aloysius Dawson? Everybody knows him. He's only been to my shop once, though, looking for rare books and other intriguing antiques. Did he buy something from you? No, he left quickly. He almost laughed at my goods. Mr. Dawson may be a rich man, but you can't buy good manners. But isn't Aloysius Dawson known for his philanthropy? That was before his brother Robert died in an aeroplane crash. Since then, the remaining twin has turned into a heartless tycoon. May I look at your goods, Miss Price? It's always a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Reed. Take all the time you need. Eh, the rivet might be the most interesting thing here, but yeah. Now we're good. I hope you can stay a little longer. Yeah, we can talk to the daughter, but you know, like I said earlier, I'm not feel I'm not feeling too hot. Let's just let's just keep going. And before anybody comments and you know worries about me or whatever, i I'll be fine. I just need to I'll be fine when the weather stops. It really sucks. It, it just it sucks. I get like this whenever whenever storms run roll in. It's always, it's it's something with the barometric pressure or whatever. It just messes with my brain. Um, yeah. I get uh, I get this coming out of summer and coming out of winter. My dad gets it going into winter and going into summer. Searching the insides of, uh, of trash cans. Would any of these happen to be Aloysius's? That, that's a very odd thing to say. Alo Aloysius? Aloysius? Alo 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 Ugh. Who'd want to say that? I found a bullet in a trash can. That's safe. I thought this one had a door on each side. How did he not see me walking up to him? You and me, my dude. No, I guess not. Actually, there's. Where you go boom. I used that move, and then I kind of realized why the hell did I use use the uh, the shadow mine? It's not gonna affect this guy. Well. Crawl back to the hell 
Down you go. I have a feeling this is his mansion. Anyone else, uh, anyone else get that vibe? Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? Uh, hell no. Why is that active? Do I have something... Do I have a side quest active? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I'm trying to figure out why... It's telling me there's a side mission in the area. First, though, let's rob this guy's house, as always. There's something in there. Okay. It's just like the Witcher. Finally you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. I thought he said earlier that he didn't want to be a vampire. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Does anyone else have uh, what is what is it? Don't fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster Cult. Wait, is that Blue Oyster? Is that Blue Oyster Cult? I can't remember who did that song. I think it's Blue Oyster Cult. Um, but yeah, it just having that in his head with everybody keeps saying Reaper. <laughs> Baby, don't fear the Reaper. Is that Blue Oyster? Cult? Sorry, this is bugging me. Uh... So I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs and the cold. So cold. What do you know about the guard of Prewen? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. I really don't like you. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. 
Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes. It will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor? This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. This dude's nuts. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated as soon as they are spotted. Okay, so, so we're going with the Walking Dead approach. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last! All right, do what you have to do. I still swear this guy said he didn't want to be a vampire uh, when we first met him. You'll, yeah, you sacrifice 2,000 experience and uh, in the process I'll make you a vampire. Uh... Oh, oh, but I'm going. I'm going for my no kill run. Oh, I thought we could just kill him. Uh, oh, this is actually hard. This is hard from a metagaming perspective, not like the actual moral decision. Oh, I can't choose. No, I can't do it. You don't deserve immortality, Mister Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Forever. Oh, well. I would have lived forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? Well, like I said, I'm not. I'm not too. I'm. I'm not sure if I, how happy about this I am. Just because, like I said, I. I was shooting for that no kill run. And I'm pretty sure that just uh, just n kind of knocked me off on that. Oh well, I, don't know. I was planning on playing this once or twice more in my own time, anyways. See, I I can definitely see where some people would not enjoy this game as much as I would. I I personally like it. I, I think there there are definitely things that could change. Combat's a little on the clunky side, but all in all, I find it. I still find it fun. Um, I mean, I like the way that the powers work. The choices between uh, embrace choosing to embrace somebody or not embrace them. That's cool. How that can also cut off uh, certain side missions. That's really neat. I, there there are certainly some really neat stuff. You know, all the way through this game. I I also wish that there was a fast travel system because running around sometimes is a gigantic pain in the ass. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to find more of these safes. There's another one. 
rich blood sample, watery rich blood sample. That's great. Thick rich blood sample. Thick sturdy blood sample. Ooh. Jeez, a whole bunch of blood samples. Oh, there's Red Griff. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? Alas, Aloysius Dawson was not brought back to life after his death. The man is gone. What? What happened? I tried. He didn't survive the procedure. He was too weak. This is unacceptable, nevertheless. You were given the simplest task. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor. And take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! You know, for... And by the sword you die, talk with a little bro, okay? Yeah, you know, they, they shifted really liking me and really hating me really quickly. <laughs> I mean, we go from being like there, there. Oh, you, you, you know. Oh, you took the lance and thrust it through their heart. Oh, and all that, all that bullshit, to going to. We hate you. Get out of our sights. <laughs> I'm just like on a dime. Hello. Oh, old Brit. Okay, I know who this is. All right. Well, it seems like we're gonna kind of be starting up uh, some more, you know, more story stuff in the next one. Uh, but until then, guys, uh, please remember you can always find me over on Facebook, Twitter, the website minds.com. Links, all that stuff is down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more next time. But until then, my name's AJ Gels. This is the Game Channel. I'm out.